What's going on guys? It's Shane. We're back here with another video. Today we're going to be returning to School Bus Simulator Pinefall owned by Southern Transportation Lines. Uh, today we'll be driving the Minotaur, uh, picking up, well, dropping off uh, daycare students. And uh, yeah, for those of you who have, have been asking about the uh, Minotaur, there's really no shortage of uh, games on Roblox that have them. Uh, quite a few of them have them now. So... Um, where is the little switch thingy thing and dang, dang, dang. Why do I feel like it's over here? Why? No, it's up there. Gotcha. Okay. Never seen it in that position before, but okay. I don't really know what year this is either. So you go ahead and start it. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. So we'll turn on the lights that don't apparently work. Well, they work, but they don't like actually light up. Okay, so we won't use them. The ambers and then the reds look fine. No light monitor. That's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and head Oh, forgot my seatbelt. Forgot my seat. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's not pay attention to that wheel turning like that. Okay. Um, so there is a Canton, Georgia duplicate on Roblox. I don't know if it's owned by the, it's not owned by the same group. Uh, I don't know if that's like a leaked map or anything. I'm going to leave it up for the owner to let me know in the comments down below. Um, I've been seeing it on Roblox. Like if you type in Canton, Georgia, it pops up. It's owned by someone else. Uh, I just don't know if it's their game just in a different, under a different group or person, you know? I don't know. Because I was going to do a video on it, but I don't want to... If it's leaked, I don't want to do a video on it, you know? So I'll just wait for that. How do you turn on the fog light? H, no. That's the horn. J, K. Oh my god. I think that just turned on... Is that an AC or is that... What is that? I have no idea what that is. Something turned on. But there's actually really no point in playing that Canton Georgia game because it's actually kind of the same map, so. There's that. Still waiting on the version three update. I believe that's coming out the 26th of June, so this month, or no, wait a minute, it's July, I thought it said June, or did V3 already come out, I'm an idiot, hold on, no, we're still in version 2.9, maybe they meant July 26, I don't know, that thing over there at spawn kind of, it showed the date, but I thought it said June, Anyways, by the time you guys are watching this, I will be in, let me see. Uh, no, I will be leaving for North Carolina. So I'll probably be uh, gone. I won't be at home by the time you guys are watching this. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now, what's crazy is I am noticing a massive drop in players since they took down Canton, Georgia. Whenever I used to look at their game, it used to be around 30 players, 40 players, which was amazing. Uh, however, every time I look at Pinefall, unfortunately, it's not the same player count. As usual 
Um, it's probably because people think the game is still down or something like that, um, which is quite unfortunate, but um, that's going to happen when you take down a game without, you know, well, first they kind of shut down their Discord server, which was, you know, that happened. And then when you shut down the game after that, you know, communications get hard. So people don't really know why you shut it down and all that. And getting it back up without any uh, announcement is something else as well. So the only hope you really have is keeping up or hoping that players keep up with the group, you know? I hate speed bumps so much. I get the purpose. And I enjoy it when somebody decks their car out going over it because they're speeding. But me personally, I don't like <laughs> I don't like having to slow down like that. I was at JC Penny today and they had a bunch of those right out front. They had like four of them in a row. You don't need four speed bumps like that back to back. I mean, you should have seen how many there were. And they weren't very far apart from each other. So I'm like slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> and then some of those neighborhoods in my area have those ones that will sneak up on you. They're not really speed bumps. They're like, they call them, I think they call them like speed humps. Uh, they're, they're not visible, really, to the eye. They're the same color as the pavement. And if you, you won't, if you're not reading the sign, you'll go right over it and probably uh, do some damage to your car, which I was in the Meyer parking lot the other day. I watched some guy, I don't think he noticed, but he, uh, we're headed to the mall. Oh my goodness. Um, he, we're going to do a U-turn here. He, um, he was leaving the parking lot. I hear a noise, a loud noise. Next thing you know, I see his fender come up from underneath his car and he just drove off. I think he drove off and his fender fell off and he ran it over and he had no idea. <laughs> so I kind of just picture his face when he got home and looked at the front of his car. <laughs> oh my goodness. That would suck. <clears throat> And I know that fender wasn't already there because I was sitting in the parking lot the whole time. I looked over at that same spot prior to him driving away and I didn't see anything there. And I got a new car now, so I'm whenever I'm going to stores, I'm parking all the way in the back of the lot because I'm afraid of people being in their doors on my car. Oh my God, I hate when that happens, when people do that, especially kids, dude. I used to do it, well, I didn't do it as a kid because I had manners. Not saying that these kids don't have manners, but they'll sling their family's car door open and hit somebody else's car, and that can do some serious damage. I hate that. <clears throat> That's why I park all the way in the back, so nobody else parks next to me. It's crazy. I've already happened. I heard, I've already had that happen to me with my other car. I think I went into Walmart, came out, saw a freaking paint scratch on the side of my door. And I know for a fact that wasn't there when I went into Walmart. This light takes forever. This was that light that I thought never changed. <clears throat> this, this bus is a little broken. You can see kind of the stuff kind of broken there. It's got what kind of materials that is that plastic. I hate plastic material. There's literally, okay, this is taking forever. 
plastic material is so useless. Smooth plastic is where it's at. Also, that massive fog light does not look right on this small bus. <laughs> so it looks weird. Thirty five hundred. Redwood a oh, rosewood. Not redwood. Rosewood estates. So I was at JCPenney today buying clothes for this trip buying new swim trunks i hate the swim trunks with like nets in them oh my god it sucks so bad i had to find a specific pair that didn't have those i hate those so much i used to wear those as a kid and oh my god <laughs> i mean i get what they're there for but it's just such a pain putting them on and off with that freaking net in there oh my god so i found me a pair without it They were expensive though, like 30 something bucks for a pair of swimming trunks, which is crazy. Absolutely absurd. Then I got another pair of shorts. I don't wear shorts that much, surprisingly. I used to when I was younger. I used to wear a lot of shorts. However, now I don't. I wear a lot of jeans, baggy clothes, baggy pants, like sweatpants and stuff. That's usually what you'll see me wearing. No matter the temperature. I have no patience for these lights at all. It's crazy. Okay, I think we're all sitting at a red. We're all sitting at a red. What did I just do? There we go. Now we're at a green. Man, that time interval is crazy. I think the stoplights need to be looked into. Because I remember talking about that last time we did the the, uh, the kind of review on Pinefall. That was an issue, the stoplights. Okay, we don't have very many stops left, so... I'm just trying to, I'm still recording this before I leave, so I'm still trying to think of other bus simulators to record while I'm away. Um, I think I'm going to do a video on ABC. I might do two videos. Uh, I'll do one on NBC. Uh, I'm just trying to do a lot to kind of uh, fill in, you know? And I need to get a screenshot, don't I? I'll get one here. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we need to get back to base. So the quickest way back to base would be, I guess we'll make a left here. I just had to uh, answer the door for a stranger, some guy selling raffle tickets. Bruh, these turn signals won't turn off. What the heck? Okay, there we go. My goodness. Okay. This is the roundabout way right here. Bruh, 
Bruh, bruh. Okay. I've been using the word bruh a lot. It's <laughs> simply because of that. Um, you guys remember that, like, that Uno vine where he's like, bruh, bruh. And he's get, shit is getting real. <laughs> uh, they were playing Uno. He's like, bruh. Okay. This guy has the same dash as my Impala did. And GM likes to uh, use the same dash in a lot of their vehicles. The, uh, the like that where the uh, the uh, the gear display is right there. That was the same on my Impala. The gauges, the needles were pretty much the same. Or actually, the needles were red, not orange. But ah. Uh, they were, you know, kind of the same stuff. Dude, I, okay. Here we go. We're just going to pull into here and we're going to buy some merch. Just kidding. Oh, the merch shop isn't even here anymore. Gotcha. Uh, take seatbelt off. Also, the bus won't turn off for some reason. Oh. Oh, that's great. Okay. <laughs> well, this was uh, kind of an updated video. Not an update video. An updated video on Pinefall. Um, if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know down below. If you guys do wish to play it yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. And uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.